For NASCAR's newest feature, the circular race for convertibles, the day arrives clean and warm. A great day for racing, and all morning they come. Mr. and Mrs. America, as well as uh, Miss America, and Junior, too, with ideas of his own. All here to see the speed and safety factors of the year's new cars. Curtis Turner and Fireball Roberts, two of Pete DePalo's group, are out to win in this very first race of convertibles. And Pete, well, he's out to see that they win. These cars and every car in the race have been inspected by NASCAR officials for safety features, and the engines, after examination, have been sealed. The cars are equipped with roll bars because of the hazards of close car contact. Today, the open cars will let you see the driver's skill in steering. You might even learn a couple of tricks. And here they go. Off to an early lead is Joe Weatherly of Norfolk, Virginia, former motorcycle champion. 29 cars, and this 160-mile race will test them all for durability, responsiveness, acceleration, maneuverability. A terrific strain on brakes, front end, chassis, and shifting at high speed on the turns. That's a real test for any transmission. Looks as though Joe Weatherly is being pushed a bit by Curtis Turner. Kurt comes from Roanoke, Virginia, and is said to have as heavy a foot as any man in racing today. is getting too close for Weatherly's comfort. And there goes Joe's lead. And now it's Curtis Turner leading the field. And here comes Fireball Roberts into third place. Say, this seems to be turning into a private race for Pete DePalo's boys. to have gas, and that's what the pit is for. Only 72 seconds, and Turner is off again, still ahead of the field. He had a real lead. But he'd better step on it. Well, look who's now in second place. Fireball Roberts, with former national champion Herb Thomas holding third. So now it's nip and tuck between two pals, Curtis Turner and Fireball Roberts. Last lap, and it looks like it's going to be Turner. There goes Turner, and maybe for a record. It's Fireball Roberts, second. And Herb Thomas, third. What a race. Turner's time, an average of 96.11 miles per hour for 160 miles. It's a new track record. To Americans today, stock car racing is far more than a sport. They come also to learn, and their reactions are important to the reputations of the competing autos, some of whose ancestors date back to the days when automobiles were new and racing was but a noisy, lusty child, and whose descendants have kept breathless pace with the ever-growing demands of a fast-moving world.